Hello and welcome to the Daily English News Program in Azerbaijan Television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Lelio Senli. President Ilham Aliyev received credentials as the newly appointed Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Moldova, Alexander Yasaulinka. President Ilham Aliyev received credentials of the newly appointed Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Moldova, Alexander Isaulenka. President Ilham Aliyev then had a conversation with the ambassador. The head of state held a very good level of bilateral relations between the two countries and expressed his hope that the cooperation in specific areas would continue to expand. Underlining the good political interaction, the head of state emphasized the importance of high-level contacts and the growth and trade exchange and pointed out the opportunities for deepening relations in the fields of transport, energy and investment. Touching on the two countries' mutual support at the international level, President Ilham Aliyev emphasized that Azerbaijan and Moldova also show solidarity in a bilateral format. The head of state expressed his hope that Ambassador Alexander Isaulenko would contribute to the strengthening of bilateral relations during his tenure. Ambassador Alexander Isaulenko extended President of Moldova Maya Sandu's greetings to President Ilham Aliyev and her peace wishes to the people of Azerbaijan. He noted that the leadership of the Republic of Moldova pays great attention to the deepening and expansion of Moldova-Azerbaijan interstate relations. President Ilham Aliyev thanked for the greetings and asked the ambassador to extend his greetings to the President of Moldova. The ambassador praised the good potential for the expansion of relations between the two countries and emphasized the role of mutual contacts in the development of bilateral relations. In this regard, he held the importance of the visits of the Moldovan Prime Minister, the Speaker of the Parliament and other officials to Azerbaijan. Alexander Saulenko emphasized that Moldova is interested in further expansion of relations with Azerbaijan in political, economic and other fields. President Ilham Aliyev accepted credentials as the newly appointed Ambassador Extraordinary Plenipotentiary of the State of Libya, Ali Salim Nasser. President Ilham Aliyev accepted credentials of the newly appointed Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the State of Libya, Ali Salim Nasser. Ambassador Ali Salim Nasser presented his credentials to the head of state. Talking with the Ambassador President, Ilham Aliyev said that Azerbaijan and Libya have always been friends and defended their interests. The head of state noted that both countries share mutual support on all issues within international organizations. President Ilham Aliyev pointed out that both during the occupation and after the occupation, Azerbaijan has always seen Libya's support regarding the Armenian-Azerbaijan issue. Saying that the country also feels the support within the non aligned movement and the organization of Islamic cooperation, the head of state thanked the Libyan side for this. President Ilham Aliyev recalled his participation in the 31st Arab League summit recently held in Algeria and emphasized that in his speech at this event he highlighted the current state and prospects for relations between the Arab states and Azerbaijan. President Ilham Aliyev said that the invitation of Azerbaijan to the summit as a guest of honor demonstrated once again the attitude of the Arab world towards the country. The Azerbaijani president stressed the necessity of intensifying the bilateral ties, especially the cooperation in economic, trade and energy areas, taking into account friendly relations. Thanking for the warm words, the ambassador conveyed the greetings of the head of the Presidency Council of Libya, Mohammed Yunis Al-Menfi, to the head of state. President Ilham Aliyev expressed his gratitude for the greetings and asked the ambassador to convey his greetings to Mohammed Yunis Al-Menfi. Ali Salim Nasser said that he will spare no effort to strengthen relations between the two countries and peoples during his tenure. The ambassador stressed the importance of strengthening coordination and cooperation both bilaterally and within international organizations in the best interests of the two countries and peoples. President Ilham Aliyev received credentials of the newly appointed Apostle Knuncio of the Holy See, Archbishop Marek Salchinsky. The Apostolic Nuncio of the Holy See said that he was honored to present his credentials to the President of Azerbaijan. Marek Solchinsky stated that Pope Francis had asked him to convey his greetings to President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehdi Ban Aliyeva. He said that the Pope prays for the success of President Ilham Aliyev's mission to lead the people with dignity. Then Marek Solchinsky presented his credentials to the head of state.
speaking with the Apostolic Nuncio, President Ilham Aliyev expressed his gratitude for the greetings and asked him to convey his greetings to the Pope. President Ilham Aliyev recalled with pleasure his meetings with the Pope in Azerbaijan and the Vatican and emphasized that he always feels his sincere attitude towards Azerbaijan. Describing the official visit of the Pope to Azerbaijan as a historic visit, the other state said that it demonstrated the bilateral relations as well as the need to promote the spirit of partnership, multiculturalism, peace and tolerance values. President Ilham Aliyev said that Azerbaijan's embassy in the Vatican would start operating and expressed confidence that it would serve the dynamism of cooperation. The head of state also expressed his satisfaction with Azerbaijan's participation in the restoration of the historical sites of the Vatican and evaluating it as a contribution to intercultural dialogue said that the Azerbaijani site was ready to continue this work. President Ilham Aliyev stated that the Intercultural Dialogue Forum regularly held in Azerbaijan serves to the expansion of international cooperation in this field. Marek Solchinsky, who said that he had a very good impression of visiting Baku again, expressed his satisfaction with the development of cooperation between Azerbaijan and the Holy See in various areas. The head of state received a special representative of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation for Normalization of Azerbaijan-Armenia Relations, Igor Khavaev. The side exchanged views on the negotiation process regarding the normalization of relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan and the drafting of a peace agreement between the two countries. The Armenian side's failure to fulfill its obligations in accordance with the trilateral declaration signed on November 10, 2020, the last meeting held in Sochi, and its results. The signature of President Ilham Aliyev has the same power as his word. This is one of the factors that forms the basis of the high level of trust of international organizations in our country. Official visit of the President of Azerbaijan to Serbia, which gave a new impetus to cooperation and strategic partnership between Baku and Belgrade, was no exception. Over the past period, Azerbaijan and Serbia, the countries which marked 25 year anniversary of its relations, established friendship and partnership, including successful ties in various fields. The 44 documents signed so far have formed a local framework for cooperation. After the signing of the Declaration on Friendship and Strategic Partnership in 2013 and the Joint Action Plan on Strategic Partnership in 2018, political relations reached a new level. We are strategic partners in the true sense of the word because we cooperate successfully in many areas and our cooperation is strategic goals. Serbia and Azerbaijan always defend and support each other in the international arena. The visits and the meeting of heads of state played an important role in the strengthening the political dialogue. Last year, the volume of trade turnover between our countries amounted to 9,230,000 U.S. dollars. Serbia is interested in the further development of economic ties with Azerbaijan, including cooperation in the energy sector. Our ranking officials of this country regularly participate in the meetings of the Advisory Council of the Southern Gas Corridor. Azerbaijan is a superpower when it comes to production and export of gas. And in seven, eight or ten years, Azerbaijan will be exporting more than 35 billion cubic meters of gas. Today the export is around 22 billion cubic meters of gas. Out of that, more than half goes to the European countries. And that is why we work on establishing interconnector between Serbia and Bulgaria so that we could provide in advance important amounts and quantities of gas from our friends in Baku. Azerbaijan and Serbia are also taking the necessary steps to develop relations between peoples, cooperation in the cultural and humanitarian spheres. On behalf of President Ilham Aliyev in May 2020, humanitarian aid in the amount of 400,000 minutes was sent to Serbia to support the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs disseminated information on newly found Armenian-produced mines in Azerbaijani territories and the ongoing mine threat. It was reported that the detection of mines in the site of Baba elevation, Kerbajan and Lachin districts of the Azerbaijani-Armenian border in the territory of the Karabakh economic region once again demonstrate Armenia's misuse of the Lachin road for illegal military activities. The continuation of military provocations by Armenia on the territories of Azerbaijan, the incomplete withdrawal of its forces and the purposeful mining of our territory demonstrates that this country is hindering the normalization process and the efforts to establish peace in the region. This activity of Armenia is a war crime, a serious violation of international humanitarian law and the obligations taken by Armenia within the framework of the trilateral statement, reads the statement of MFA. That was all for today. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.